Time to play with some play. Let me show you when I can find it up here. Here it is. This is Curly, the Crow Scout that rode with Custer. And uh, I met his family years ago uh, at Old Trail Town in Cody, Wyoming. Uh, ba James Bama, who's a real famous Western painter, uh, was uh, using them as models for up and coming paintings. And uh, really nice people. Anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. That's just telling you something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make uh, the wrinkles. You can see right there how heavy duty the wrinkles are and how this flap here sort of bows out and, and curls. Um, there's a thick black line up here for the uh, the blankets uh, marking and uh, I'm, I'm guessing this would have been uh, Probably, uh, I don't know what color those would be. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to do some research on colors for that kind of blanket. It's a Hudson Bay trade blanket, and it looks like it's fairly thin, but it still has a quality that uh, gives it some thickness. I'll come back when I get this uh, really well done. I turned the heater on so I could get this place warmed up a little bit. I forgot to come down and do it earlier. It just took about 10 minutes to heat up the place. But it was enough time for me to... I'm going to be redoing <coughs> the uh, flaps on the uh, side of the leggings. And that's because I noticed that they're a little bit wider than I had them. Which may be to his own taste, but... I'm going to follow the reference that I've got. And I've got to uh, put some detail, beadwork detail down here in the bottom of the cuff. That's where the uh, beadwork would have been. I might be getting carried away with the uh, wrinkles, so I gotta watch myself there. Now I'm using a rough texture. I've got this uh, wire tool here and it has a real deep serrated groove in the, the uh, one side of it. And that gives me a particular texture I want for uh, a blanket. Now down here where the uh, there's some trade cloth and beadwork sewn onto the bottom of the legging, I'll change the uh, texture for that. But it just gives you different textures which uh, is good for the eye and it works well in bronze. Now it gives it a real rough texture, but I want to take it back a little bit. I don't want to have a real rough texture. I just want a texture. There are two sculptors that I know of that are masters of texture. 
And uh, Avard Fairbanks is one. He was a sculptor who dominated the uh, sculpting world back in the uh, 50s and I think the 30s and 40s and 60s. I actually, I'm a member of the LDS Church and we have what they call home teachers and I, and Avard Fairbanks' brother was my home teacher partner. And, uh, and then uh, my distant uncle Ed Frotten, Edward Frotten, he is, I think, one of the top sculptors in the country or today. That's my personal opinion, but then again, he's distantly related to me. He uh, took lessons from, or studied under Avard Fairbanks. And so he learned the technique of texturing. Me, I've sort of taught myself. And I'll never be as good as those two guys. But I try. The idea is to show the body under the clothing but not getting over detailed in it. Okay, it's time to uh, figure out the uh, size of the, uh, or the layout of the beaded area. All right, I got the beadwork made. Now it's just a matter of putting it on. I did the beadwork separate from the uh, clay because I want to get it the exactly the same all the way around. And you can't put the bead texture back here without uh, breaking your fingers and your arms trying to do it. Okay, this one I'm not going to put on yet. I'm going to put that on after I've uh, put the uh, flap on. But I am going to put this one on in the front. I can't see the back of the lighting, so I don't know whether there is one, but uh, I'm just going to assume that there is. There isn't one on the side, so I'll just leave that. All right, let's get the legging on. First, I gotta get some texture in this thing. Actually, I'm gonna Set this here so I can put it up with a light above it so I can see the texture better. You can't do this once you put it on the uh, sculpture. It makes it really difficult to do this. I'm going to cut out for the uh, scabbard.
that looks really nice. Now I've just got to give it a, a finishing touch along the um, edge where it touches the leg. I'll do the other leg uh, next week. I just uh, took a little longer to do this than I thought it was going to take. And my eyes are starting to go cross-eyed. <laughs> But it's kind of nice to have the same texture in the legging as is in the uh, flap. Now you see why I didn't put beadwork there. I got the flap on. Okay. Whew. Well, that legging's done. character in that legging to reflect the stress on the uh, blanket legging. I think that legging looks good. I'm happy with it. There's some detailing yet left to, left to do on the uh, legging, but I like the way it looks. That really looks good from the back angle, too. All right, everybody, until next week, have a great weekend, what's left of it. Hope you're uh, warm where you are and not getting snowed under or anything like that. It's actually pretty nice here. It's... 50 degrees outside, which is not bad. Yeah, I gotta take care of that one little area right there. There. That does it. Now, yep, till next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.